Hi, in this video I want to explain how to solve uh, genetics and uh, statistical problems using factorial method. So, here is a problem. What is the probability for a family planning to have uh, seven children, to have four boys and three girls in any order? And uh, I would start solving this problem, uh, counting how many different uh, uh, variants exist to have uh, seven children. So uh, let's think uh, how many different uh, variants we have uh, when, for example, um, this family planning to have one child. So uh, how many variants would be? Of course, this uh, can be uh, girl or boy. So two variants, right? So we put two. And uh, how many variants uh, for the second child? And once again, only two choices. It can be where is a girl or, or boy. So we put two. And uh, the same rule applies for all the seven uh, children. So every time uh, we uh, counting every child, we have to put uh, two uh, different probabilities. So... Uh, for seven children, we just have to repeat uh, this probability seven times. So we have six and now seven. And uh, now in order to find how many combinations exist, we have to multiply uh, these probabilities or independent events. And uh, this is going to be the same as two raised seven. And the answer would be 128. So 128 different variants exist how this family may have seven children. Starting from all the boys and ending that uh, all seven children can be uh, all girls. And uh, different combinations between these two extremes like uh, one boy and six girls or two boys and uh, different uh, uh, ways uh, uh, and orders how such children may be born. So uh, we find, uh, we already find that, that how many combinations exist. Now uh, I want to explain you how to find uh, how many combinations exist to have four boys and three girls. So uh, I would use a formula and here is a formula. So this would be a formula that we are going to use today. And as you see I'm using factorials in order to solve this problem. So what is the factorials? Uh, and uh, for example 7 and exclamation mark would mean that we have to multiply 7 by 6, by 5, by 4, by 3, by 2, and by 1. So uh, in this order, uh, in this decreasing order and uh, underline, we would have uh, same rule. So we have to multiply 4 by 3, by 2, by 1, and once again by 3 by 2 and by 1. Now we can uh, reduce uh, numbers that is uh, the same. For example, here we have 4, 3, uh, 2 and 1. And we have the same numbers on the top of the line. So we can just cross out these uh, numbers that uh, repeat. And here we also have below the line 3. And above we have 6, so we can cross out and put 2 here. And uh, so we also can cross out 1, because anything that uh, we uh, divide by 1 would be the same number. So what we have here is... Uh, and also we can reduce this uh, number 2 here and number two here. So we left nothing uh, underlined and above the line we have seven 
multiply it by 5. So the answer would be 35. And uh, the um, answer for our problem would be that the chances to have 4 boys and 3 girls would be 35 out of 128. And if we divide this number, so we are going to get 0 0.27. And uh, I just uh, reduce this number to two decimal places. So I round my answer because there are uh, some more uh, digits. And uh, there is also a different method exists where we don't have to find uh, this uh, total number of combinations but formula would be slightly different so our formula would be 7 factorial 4 factorial 3 uh, multiplied by number of combinations of boys so this is would be um, a probability to have a boy would be one half and uh, we have to mul uh, to use rise at 4 and also we have to multiply by probability to have a girl that would be the same number 1 half rise 3 so uh, as you see uh, this part of this formula would be the same as uh, we would multiply 1 half uh, four times for the probability to have a boy and uh, three times for the probability to have a girl and uh, the answer would be 1 over 128 so uh, as you see uh, here this uh, part uh, would equal to 35 and we have to multiply by number that is 1 uh, over 128 so uh, at the uh, second part uh, our answer would be 35 we have to multiply by 100 uh, 1 over 128 and this is going to be the same, 35 over 128. And uh, the final answer would be the same. So this is, would be 0 0.27. But you have to know that this is uh, this answer not uh, as a percentage. So if you ask the percentage, you have to multiply uh, this answer by 100. And... Uh, in percentage form, our answer would be uh, that the probability would be 27%. Why we have to multiply by 100? Uh, just take a look here, for example, we have 128 uh, different variants to have 7 children. And for example, if uh, we would have all 128 variants, so we put this number above here and we divide uh, this uh, 128 by 128, we are going to get 1. So uh, that means that 1 equal to 100%. And also you may uh, take a look here, we have chances 35 out of 128, and this number roughly one quarter of this number. So uh, as you see, this would be 27%. Not 0 0.27, but 27% if uh, you have to give the answer as a percentage form. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.